Hey, on this video for scientists, we're gonna discuss changes from heat. And we're gonna see a few examples of what happened when we add heat or remove heat from matter. Okay, one of the first things that we're gonna experiment with is water. As simple as water, it's a liquid, and I put it on this pot, and I'm gonna let them boil. When I'm boiling this water, I'm adding heat to this matter, and I wanna see what happens. When the water starts boiling, I need to figure out if it's gonna melt, or if it's gonna evaporate. What do you think will happen? Okay. After a while, I have my water boiling, and you might not be able to see all the steam coming out, that water vapor, but you know, it might look like magic, but it's not magic, it's science. So I have the lid, and it's dry, but since we cannot see the water vapor, I'm gonna put it here for a few seconds, and this water vapor is coming up. And when I turn it around, we're gonna see how, can you see these little droplets? So that's the vapor coming up. So when I add heat to water, it's gonna start evaporating. So it comes to a change from liquid to a gas. Right there. For this next part, we're gonna use butter and we have butter in a solid state. What do you think will happen when I put it in the heat? What change do you think will come for butter? Right there on the heat. When I add heat to butter, the butter is going to melt. So this matter is gonna change from a solid to a liquid when we add heat. Okay, I turn off the heat and I'm gonna let it cool off for a little bit. That means that I'm gonna remove heat and see what happens. We'll come back to see what happens to the butter after we remove heat, but we need to cool it off for a little bit more. Meanwhile, we're gonna think about ice cubes. And these are water in their solid state. We're gonna leave them out here and see after a few minutes too, what happens to the ice cubes. We are adding heat in this case. We're removing heat, but on this side, we're adding heat. Hey, we will go back to the butter and the ice cubes in a few minutes. Meanwhile, we're gonna take something out of the refrigerator, which is cold inside. So it's removing heat inside. And we're just gonna take this can, and we're gonna wait also for a few minutes and see what happens. I'm not saying that the can is gonna change state of matter, but you know how it is cold inside, and now that we remove it from the cold, there might be something, or there may be some changes that are happening. So I'm gonna put it back here, and we'll come back to that later too. Okay, boys and girls, we're back, and as you can see on this one, the butter, since we removed the heat, went back to a solid state. Now it's again solid, and the ice cubes went to a liquid state from solid to liquid since we remove the cold and put them in outside the refrigerator and they're hotter than inside the refrigerator. And the can shows some condensation outside because the air around us, it's warmer than what is inside the can. So those drops around, it's the condensation. 